Hey guys, welcome back to Pro Mac. Today we would look into keyboard shortcuts that you can use on Mac OS devices. You can use shortcuts to save time and get some tasks done a lot quicker. So by pressing certain key combinations, you can do things that usually require use of trackpad or other input devices. If you are using a keyboard that was made for PC on your Mac device, then you would have to use an alt key instead of an option key and a windows logo key instead of command key so guys without wasting any time let's get started with this video we will start with a few basic shortcuts like cut copy paste you use command x to cut the selected item and then copy to the clipboard you can use command c to copy the item to the clipboard then you can use command v to paste the contents of the clipboard into the current document or any other app. You can use the copy and paste shortcuts for files in the finder as well, but you cannot use command X for the files in the finder. So guys, just to demonstrate the three shortcuts that we just learned, here I have a document that says subscribe to Pro Mac, and then I have an empty document. So I would select subscribe, and then I'll use the shortcut control X, and then use the shortcut control V to paste it to the other document. I'll use control C now for Pro Mac to copy it and then use the same shortcut control V to paste it. And if we have to do the same, for an example, for files and folders, we can do that too. I can come here, I can click on this test folder. I can use command C to copy it and then I can go to finder and then I use command V to paste it here as simple as that so in order to undo any action you can use the shortcut command Z if you would like to redo what you have just undone you can use the shortcut shift command Z for an example I have this word document op opened up and I have written subscribe here and if I go command Z it would undo what I just wrote and if I have to redo what I've just undone then I would just go shift command plus Z and then I have the subscribe word back so then you can use command a shortcut to select all items so let's say if I say subscribe to Pro Mac then I can go command a and it will select everything and then we can use our previous shortcuts that is command X to cut it command V to paste it and as you as you know command C to copy it so the next one that we have is command F this shortcut can be used to find items in a document or open a finder window so for an example if I have this and I go in the word document I go command F you see there you have search in this document let me maximize it so I'll do it again command F it opens the document search and I can type in pro and then hit enter and it shows me the pro in the so document. I can do the same in the web browsers as well so I can close this word document open up a browser so as you can see I have a Microsoft doc opened up here regarding how to block Microsoft accounts so let's say I want to find something here I'll do the same I'll go command F opens the find window I can type in Microsoft find me the Microsoft you can either hit enter to keep going to your next results or you can use these buttons here to go to next or previous findings along with this command F goes the shortcut command G which is used to find the next occurrence of the item and shift command G for the previous occurrence of the item that was previously found using command F so like here we found Microsoft using command F and if I click command G it will take me to the next occurrence and if I go shift command G it will take me to the previous occurrence 
so this is how command F and command G now works. Now guys let's talk about opening closing hiding minimize apps or documents so you can use the shortcut command O to open a dialog or any selected file or item so for an example I have finder here and then I can just go for an example this folder I can select it and then I can go command O and it will open the folder and then same way I can click on this file this word file and I can press command O combination again and it will open that word document accordingly you can use command W shortcut to close the application that you have opened in front of you for an example let's say I open Apple site here and I'm using Safari and for an example I'm done with it I want to close it and instead of you know going here and closing it I can just use the shortcut command W and it would close it for me same thing for this word document let's say I'm done with my document I click on control W it would close the document as well so let's get the document back up and running and then also get the Safari browser opened up again for our next shortcut so our next shortcut is hiding apps or documents so that is command H as, as I said it is used to hide the app or the document that you're currently using for an example same way I'm using Safari if I click command H it would hide I it. Can do the same thing for this word document I can click command H and it hid the word document as well so for an example let's get Safari up and running as well so for an example we wanna hide the application that you're not using for an example I'm on this website on Safari however I wanna hide the word document that is behind the Safari application that I'm not working on right now then you can use option command H and it would hide it so what option command H does is that it would hide all the apps that you're not using and will keep the app that you you're working on in front of you up and running so moving on so our next shortcut is command M it is used to minimize the app that you're currently I'm using minimize this word document then I can press the shortcut command M and it would minimize this word document going forward to our next shortcut that is command P that is to print a document so for our document here if I press command P here it gives me the option to print it and then we can also use the shortcut command S to save the document so the next one that we have is option command escape this is a shortcut which is used to force quit an application so sometimes when the application stops responding then we have to force quit it normally we would go here and then we'll force quit the application but we can also use a shortcut for it which is option command and then escape it would give me this force quit applications menu here and then I can select my application and then click force quit as simple as that next shortcut that we have is command T which is used to open a new tab for an example if I'm browsing the web here right now and I would like to open a new tab I can just click command T and it would open a new tab for me next shortcut that we have for today's video is command spacebar it is used to show or hide spotlight search so if I click on command spacebar as soon as I pressed it we have spotlight search if I press command spacebar again it would hide the spotlight search we can use another shortcut that is command option spacebar which lets you search within finder so we have open finder here if I click command option spacebar it gives me the option to search within finder so let's close this out and move on with our next shortcut which is control command spacebar which opens character viewer from which you can choose emojis and other symbols so if I press control and command and spacebar it opens the character viewer so now let's remove spacebar and use F in our previous shortcut that is control command spacebar so if we press control command F this will maximize the app to the full screen given that the app should support it 
for an example let's open our safari back again and now if I use control command and then F it should maximize it as simple as that now moving on to the next one let's say you are multitasking and you would like to switch between all the apps that you have open you can up. use the shortcut command plus tab so let's say I'm using Safari I have console opened up I have App Store opened up what I can do right now is that I can press command tab and it would, it would let me switch between all those three apps so let's say I want to go to console I'm able to go to console I press command tab again then I can go to Safari it's as simple as that so moving on towards our last shortcut of so moving towards the last shortcut for today's video that is command comma so command comma is a shortcut that you can use to open preferences of a specific app that you have opened in front of you so for an example I would open Safari again and in a normal scenario you would click on Safari at the top and then you will be able to open the preferences of Safari using the shortcut command comma you would be able to open the preferences in a, in a fairly quick manner so I'm using Safari right now and I can just click command comma and it would open the preferences of Safari so that is it for today's video guys if you found this video useful a subscribe to the channel would be very helpful and if you have any suggestions or reviews please leave them in the comment section below and I'll catch you in the next one peace out